Hi everyone, this is DJ. I wanted to show you a Defiance tutorial and how to have window borderless mode uh, in the game. And sadly, it doesn't have that feature in the game itself because it, apparently they must have taken it out, which I've heard. I haven't really played much in the alpha. Uh, I don't know if they had it in alpha. Um, I did do a little bit of beta. I didn't care to notice uh, until I kind of wanted it. Uh, but for now, we have just a workaround that you can do in order to achieve this goal in order to have windowed borderless mode uh, which is nice I wish I think every game should have it regardless especially for those who have dual monitor setups or want to have an ease of access or while tabbing uh, and the, below the video I mean, is, there's a link that's gonna uh, that you can click on it sends you right here to this actual website it's a third party program called Win Explorer and it's essentially a simple program that will allow you to do what we need to do for achieving the windowed borderless mode and defiance. What we want to do is go ahead and download it. So we're going to go and scroll down to the bottom, and the second link will be Download Win Explorer. Once you have that downloaded, I've already have the uh, thing downloaded I can extract it you can go ahead and extract it somewhere where you remember where it's going to be at uh, make sure it doesn't clutter or wherever I put it over here just for now just to show you uh, just to know exactly where it's at and for sake, sake of design, demonstration make things easier to access and keep things nice and neat I'm just going to this tutorial we're going to go ahead and open it up once you open it up, you're going to go ahead and see a few processes that are running depending on your computer. Uh, I have things minimal right now at the moment. And you would notice that there's defiance on there, and that is the patcher that I have running in the background. I already placed the password in there. It's already updated, and it's ready to go. What I'd like to do is go ahead and start the game. And since this game is already under windowed mode in the beginning for doing testing for my own self, um, it's going to be like this. But for those of you who are already under the full screen, what you can do is two different simple ways to do things. What you can do is you hold Alt and you press Enter, and that will place you into uh, the window mode. You can also go over to Settings. And in the video tab, the second icon to the left, there is a feature called full screen. You can turn that off. Essentially, what will happen is that it will place you your uh, window from full screen to windowed. And yours might actually look a little more similar to this. It's actually actually oh, okay yeah that's good. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. So we got this. So we have ready to go. What we want to do is go back to Win Explorer. I held Alt and press Tab, and you can continue to press hold Alt and keep pressing Tab until you go to the actual window. And those are for you, those are for those who are not computer savvy. Nice little shortcut for those. So you can go ahead and there's a button that says Refresh. We want to have this pop up because right now we only have the patcher. You want defiance client build and the number of the build to show up on here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to refresh it. And there's going to be two of them. So what we want to pick is defiance client build. And I'm going to go ahead and modify it so I can make it look like yours. Because yours is probably going to look the same as this. It's a nice and small window here. And what we need to do is we need to get rid of all of this area. So in order to achieve that, in this Win Explorer, we have a thing called Style. Go over to the Style tab, and you will see a large amount of radio buttons that you can check and uncheck. On the bottom left is what we're looking for, these two, WS DLG Frame and WS Border. The DLG frame is what's going to do the magic and removing the entire border. 
So let's go ahead and uncheck that. Now what just happened is that everything has been removed and now you see a seamless and nice and smooth window of your game defiance. I'm going to go ahead and hit WS border just in case. I haven't really found anything different but it's just a nice thing to know that to do just in case. Now that we have this set up what we need to do is we need to change the, the size and the positions are already going to be set to zero, 00 which would be the top most left corner of your monitor. You need to find out what resolution your monitor is running at this current moment right now. So what we go ahead and do is down here to the desktop we're going to right click on the desktop and we're going to go to screen resolution. According to my specs my native resolution is 1440 by 900. This is what I'm going to be using. Generally, you can also tell by going into the settings, and you can also tell here. But that doesn't also always mean it's going to be anything, because those with lower end computers might have a lower resolution setting. But in the meantime, we're going to use 14 by 40 by 900, because that way it'll fill this entire monitor, and that's what we want to achieve. So I'm going to go back to Win Explorer and I'm going to go down to the width and I'm going to set 1440 and I'm going to change the height to 900. Once I have this set, I'm going to go ahead and click the Modify button. Now that the program has just stretched and it should fill the entire screen and it might be hiding behind the taskbar, which is okay because we'll, once we click into the game, it's going to go over. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the game. And now everything looks nice and seamless. Now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and just check it out, see how things go. And it's loading pretty good so far. And it seems like we're in game right now. I'm going to go ahead and alt tab out. And nice and easy. It's pretty much cleared out here. And I can move into here. I can go back in the game. I don't really have the sound turned on right now. And I believe we are finished. Now, as far as having this profile set, I don't know for certain how to continue having this done without um, doing all this. I believe it might be already set and I'm not really sure. Um, unfortunately there might be other ways. You could probably use shift window and save a profile. Uh, but in the meantime we found that this is a workable solution. It's a nice workaround. It's very quick, very easy to do. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. And once again, my name is DJ, and thanks for watching.